day 78 or 79 sitting here um sipping on some uh yellow mustard no just kidding this happened to be left out from uh last night um but i got my coffee sitting here i dump a little salt in my coffee i don't know if you ever tried it before but just a small amount <clears throat> um i like to do that in the morning Starbucks, by the way, usually has salt next to their half and half and all that stuff. But <coughs> sitting here with no pants on, about to edit, uh, get that next video up. A lot of times I've been editing like right before bed, but then uh, the interaction with the phone was uh, messing with my sleep. So now I just wake up uh, and I edit in the morning. Get that shit done for you guys and uh, about to post it right now. About to post uh, yesterday's food. About to post my vlog. Got a real small amount of crock pot meat that I'm uh, munching on right here. Gonna probably come back home a little bit later. Gonna hit up a big old walk. And when I come back home, I'll smash some more food before going out to the gym and smashing on some squats. Amazing feats every day. Look at these amazing feats. Whoop. Amazing feats, one foot in front of the other. Hitting up our walks. Gonna hit the gym up in a little bit. Came home, cooked up an omelet with some steak in it. Super excited for it. Looks yummy. Had an absolutely sick workout today. Things went really well. Been testing some new supplements today as well. Fired up about that. Everything's gone. Everything's gone great with uh, the testing of the supplements. Really happy with the flavoring, flavor profile of everything. Everything came out kind of just the way I was looking for. We went, we went all natty, and we also went with a product that has some artificial sweeteners in it as well. Let me know in the comments below of this uh, this video, you know, what you guys would like to see. But I, I just, I think I knocked it out of the park with something great. Um, Flavor-wise, it's like, here's what's hard. It's hard to get the amount that you actually need and to, you know, serve you and service you in the way that you actually need in terms of the amount of amino acids and, and ketones and uh, essential um, uh, vitamins and, or mainly minerals really in this case uh, some electrolytes and things like that that are in this mixture it's hard to get you the right dosage um, because once we start if we have sweeteners in it like we have an artificial sweetener in it then it gets real sweet which I kind of like I kind of like it I mean it tastes like a tastes like an orange soda you know which is awesome but if we don't want some of those things in there, if we don't want artificial sweeteners in there, then the, the taste is backed off, you know, quite a bit more. So just some things to think about. Let me know what you guys want. Um, it has ketones in it and essential amino acids, and it's a banger. I mean, this is a really, really, really dope, dope product, and I can't wait to uh, get it out to you guys. It's going to be, it's going to be a long, it's going to take a while, you know, unfortunately. It's going to take, going to take a long ass time. Anyway, about to stop over here at Nugget, and uh, I've been trying to stop being addicted to milk and cream and stuff, but you know what? At this time, just like due to the way everything is, like with things being a little bummed out, even Mark Smelly Bell gets a little bummed out, and so like the one thing I have is like food. I love making my coffee in the morning with cream, and uh, so I was going to try to lean into making the carnivore diet a little harder for the last like 20, 21 days, last 30 days and stuff like that, and to be totally honest with you, I haven't been able to do it. So I'm just going to say F it. And I'm going back to bringing in the milk and the cream and to just enjoy myself, you know. And I think it's hard to recognize that sometimes. But you just need to recognize that sometimes that's just the way things are. I'm also increasing activity. I did some sprints today. And so my... The reason why I'm able... Like, I'm able to sell it to myself. I'm able to lie to myself here because I can say... All right, well, because you're going to be putting out more energy than you need more food, you know? And so go ahead and keep having the milk and keep having the cream. 
that's what I'm trying to tell myself. That's what I'm trying to convince myself. And if you're wondering what that vibration sound is in the background, that would be my vibrator. Let me see if I can get it for you. Oh, it's kind of stuck. Hold on a second. I want to cramp up. Oh, it's really stuck in there. You got to unlatch my seatbelt. It's something I use when I drive. I think this company actually makes something more specific to driving. Whew. But I'm using my Hypervolt. <laughs> Thing is badass. Anyway, this company makes a lot of great products. They make this ball. I suggest getting the smaller ball. It's called this, whatever that is on there. Anyway, great company. An easy piece. You know, I, I put it on my knee. I put it on my, my, I sit on it when I drive. I put it on my low back. And uh, just feels absolutely phenomenal. I actually used it on a flight. Had it in my bag for the flight. And I just said, you know, like when you're on a plane, you're just like all hunched forward like this. Making that noise. So I didn't want to make that noise the whole flight. And so I stuck it in my kind of mid to upper back. And then I was like this the whole time. I was getting ready for a big squat. Anyway, super pumped about the way those squats went. Going to go back in the gym tomorrow and kick the shit out of myself and smash on some back and some tricep work, I think. That'll be the workout for tomorrow. Sunday, smash the shit out of myself again. And uh, just keep getting after it. Anyway, going to buy some products, going to buy some produce, going to buy some food for my family and for myself. I'm gonna get home, I'm gonna relax, watch some TV, hopefully get everybody together tonight and watch a movie. What you guys doing? You know, we've, we've actually been putting together some puzzles which I absolutely suck at. Like, I just sit there and stare at it the whole time. And I don't contribute one goddamn thing. My brain just doesn't work that way, man. But I got to practice more. And maybe I'll get better at it. Maybe. What's up, everybody? <laughs> I want everybody out there to keep smiling. You know, keep, <laughs> keep having a good time. Keep smiling. Like, there's really nothing to be that doomed about. There's nothing to be that worried about. There are people that are sick. More people will be infected and more people will die, right? That's not necessarily happy news. However, uh, you being sad about it, mad about it, doesn't improve the news, doesn't change the news. So you may as well continue to have fun. You may as well continue to have a good life. And you may as well continue to keep smiling as if you're an idiot, as if you're dumb to it. Um, anyway, what I really wanted to encourage everyone to do is find a way to communicate with, you know, the people in your life that you really care about. See if you can communicate with them via Zoom, via something like this, via FaceTime. Like, I feel like FaceTime is shit. I feel like it never works. Uh, but maybe through Facebook or through some other app, I found that Zoom is like the easiest thing to do. You know, you if you have the Zoom app, you just send it on over you, to get into a meeting. And then you can meet with your aunt, your uncle, your grandmother, your grandpa. You can meet with everybody. And it's actually really neat. So um, I tried to set it up earlier with my family and like no one cared. Everyone was kind of poo-pooing me, but... Um, hey, it doesn't mean you can't keep trying. So in these times, you know, why we're, you know, you hear how important it is to be disconnected. Well, you hear how quickly everyone gets sad from being disconnected. We're like, it's one thing to disconnect on your own. It's another thing to be disconnected. You know, and it's not under your own will. So anyway, keep fighting for your family. Keep fighting for your friends. Keep seeing each other despite uh, despite the social distancing, right? You can keep seeing your, each other through this, through our technology. And people has people have said our technology has driven them, driven us apart. Let's uh, show people that that's not necessarily true. Let's show people how connected we can all still be, and how we can come together, and how we can defeat a lot of great things, and how a lot of amazing things can come from social media. A lot of great things can come from keeping a smile on your face, having a good, strong, positive attitude and saying hi and what's up to your mom, your dad, your brother, your sister, the people that you care about. I encourage you to do it. Get off the fucking internet right now and utilize the internet for some good. The internet can be utilized for things other than 
derogatory comments, negative comments, and pornography. <laughs> it's true. You can like email people. You can communicate to people. You can cheer people up. You can get people hyped. All kinds of fun stuff can happen <laughs> via the internet. But uh, that's just news to you guys. This is the first year ever hearing of it. And uh, so go utilize it for good. Go call up grandma. Go call up grandpa. Strength is never a weakness. Weakness is never a strength. Catch you guys later. Bush. Yo, yo. Cooking this thing up. This thing's a monster. This is from Piedmontese. I forget what it's even called. I think it's a T-bone steak. But look at that thing. Looks amazing. I always throw down a little bacon grease. That's how we get this kind of char going. Just smoking. I've talked about this many times before, but the way that we're checking these steaks, you know, there's bone here, so that's not going to do us any good, but checking through here, through the thickest part of this T-bone, that's too soft right there so far and for my liking, in terms of how I want it. I want that, um, I want that texture of right here, <laughs> this fat part of my thumb, to be a little bit like when my hand is like that. So this, let's see if I can get to it. Sorry about the camera work. Right here, this fat part here. I want it to be like that, and it's a little, it's a little squishier than that right now. But it's getting there. And the less times you flip it, the better off it can be. So make sure you don't have to flip it nine million times. But sometimes you got to do what you got to do because there's no rules here in Smelly Kitchen. I just flipped it, and there's some more char here, but I'm going to kind of re-season it again a little bit. I have some of this uh, Redmond's Real Salt Garlic Salt. I kind of like garlic salt, so I'm going to hit that up again on here. I did this a little earlier. Even though I you know, hit that up once, I hit it up a second time, let all that kind of cook in there and... I shut the grill down. I shut her down. And this thing, you want this stuff thing to get like gnarly and gross and have a bunch of like oil and grease and fat on it and stuff. Like you see all that stuff in there. That's from the last couple days. We clean it out every few days, give this thing a little scrub here and there, but I really want this thing to get a little gnarly, how it cooks stuff up the best. So I shut that down and then let the meat rest on there like this. Even throw a pan over top of it to kind of keep it, you know, concealed so it can continue to cook. And here it continues to cook. It sounds good and it looks even better.